Folks, at this time, representing the Office of the President of Central Michigan University, we have Dave Hickey with us this morning. Uh, thank you, Frank. It's a pleasure to be here. And on behalf of the uh, Board of Trustees, uh, our faculty, our well over 20,000 students, alumni, and staff at Central Michigan University, we're honored to join you in this day of remembrance. Um, it's an honor and a privilege to be part of this ceremony today. It's a true testament to CMU's friendship with the Saginaw Chippewa Indian Tribe as we work together to honor those who have passed on from the boarding school, remembering those who uh, attended the school and to begin the healing, to continue the healing of the devastating effects of that era in history. It's through this ceremony that we find a place of honor and respect for each other. It's been three years since the representatives from the Saginaw Chippewa Indian Tribe organized a journey to forgiveness, a walk from the tribal center to this site. Many members of this community, as well as Central Michigan University, participated in this walk, which asked participants to recognize what happens when distrust, prejudice, and an attitude of supremacy prevails. The journey of forgiveness was a tangible act of the tribal community to forgive the unforgivable and to allow the healing process to begin. Even today, Central Michigan University students under the leadership of faculty member Sarah, Dr. Sarah Evans are studying the history of the school, the lives of the former students to help us better understand and learn from the atrocities these children faced and endured during the 100 year history of this school operation. We are forever grateful to the tribe for giving CMU the honor of being responsible for this significant field research. CMU's collaboration with the Saginaw Chippewa Indian Tribe is deeply rooted, not just through educational, cultural, and ceremonial celebrations, but through dialogue and mutual respect. I'm reminded of our joint work that culminated in November of 2010. After years of bureaucratic challenges, the university was able to return the remains of 144 ancestors of the Saginaw Chippewa Indian Tribe for reburial. The walk from the CMU uh, Museum of Cultural and Natural History to the Tribal Cemetery was yet another example of communities working together to heal the wounds of the past. For the benefit of our community, our state, our country, this world, and our future generations, we must continue to embrace the tremendous opportunities we share as neighbors and the richness, richness of our cultural heritage. In the words of Chief Seattle, humankind was not woven, has not woven the web of life, but we are just one thread within it. Whatever we do to the web, we do to ourselves. All things are bound together and all things connect. Today we stand together in this spirit. We're joined to honor, to heal, and remember not only the children who perished at this school, but the children who survived the terrible injustices and attempted, that attempted to rob them of their culture and their language. Central Michigan University stands with you today, side by side, to commemorate this historic moment and to celebrate the strength of a people, our culture, and a community. And in doing so, as the mayor said, we embrace the future. Thank you again for allowing us to be part of today's ceremony and express our honor and our respect that we have and we will continue to have with the Saginaw Chippewa Indian Tribe, our brothers, our sisters, our neighbors, and our friends. We thank you very much. Thank you.